name is Danny Bracamontes. My name is Zeppelin Dufour. I'm Ye Bit Hong. I'm in the Department of Art History, Theory, and Criticism. I'll be getting my BFA in painting, illustration, and ceramics. I'll be getting my degree in the Bachelor of Fine Arts, and I've been specializing in sculpture, exhibition design. For seniors, this is an exciting moment and represents a milestone in their undergraduate experience. Our students work with faculty and the Department of Exhibitions to realize their ambition and vision in these incredible spaces. The work represented here demonstrates a breadth of research, scholarly inquiry, and creative endeavor. I've been using a lot of imagery of the car as a symbol for this intersection of like time and space, questioning these like modern technologies and these idea of advancements, how maybe this is like more of an illusion of progress. Right now, I'm working on my senior thesis, which is kind of investigating what is seen and what is unseen, questioning what we're being presented in the image world, what we're consuming, who's showing it, who are the protagonists, and who are the antagonists. So I'm working on large-scale ceramics. One would be a little bit of self-portraiture, and then paintings of people in my life as, and me as well. And the reason I paint and sculpt is because it brings me serenity and happiness. I'm very thankful to have the opportunity to show my work, but it also means that my time at SASC is coming to an end. I'm gonna miss the faculty, gonna miss my fellow students. They show a lot of freedom and freedom of expression, but also the freedom to like display emotions and get deep with their inner thoughts. Being able to present a bit of my own work and being able to have this opportunity to like put some of my voice and being able to tell some of my story that I've created. Kind of like I get to take a big breath, get a lot of weight off of my shoulder. I'm really excited that I get to show my studio part as well as my scholarly research at the BFA show. And it speaks much to the interdisciplinary nature of SAIC. A lot of their classes have helped me think about theory and criticism in multiple lenses, so through architecture, through film, video, new media. In the beginning, it's simplistics of putting a mark on a paper, but now that question what this mark does. Art and design kind of grow along with technology. What people are doing now with projection mapping and large scale digital mapping on buildings is pretty fascinating to me. So I see a big future in that. Art and design has a lot of possibilities for the future. It's a way for scholars to interact in a visual scene that people are kind of consuming every single day. I think it'll help pave the way in people understanding what they are being shown and what they are being advertised each and every day. The way I think the environment at SAIC pushes this idea of research along the side being able to create is pushing us to question everything. Practices that I'm seeing along with my peers are becoming more about research and becoming like experts in a field, politics or climate change. Being able to use their design and artistic capabilities to like analyze and create new solutions, push this envelope of what it means to be an artist.